Okay, so I'm going to go to the file manager. Please be sure you follow these instructions carefully if you want your data to be imported correctly. The very first one, ensure the file is saved in CSV format. And yes, it is right here, uh, comma separated values. Ensure the first eight headers or items on the first line are in the correct order. The names don't have to match, but each column must be present in this order. And that is date, okay, aircraft make model, there you go, aircraft identification, that matches, airport from, there it is, waypoints, there it is, airport to, there it is, remarks, okay, and total hours. Uh, the third one is stating that I can put as many columns as I want beyond total hours. I can put as many as I want, but it, in order for them to be added, in order for the hours to be added, they must be an American value. If it does, however, have any kind of, uh, of a text value, as it is right here in uh, approach type, in my in my file okay if it does have any kind of uh, text value that will not be added it will, the, the, the header will be converted to a text slash other type okay if you have number four here if you have uh, commas or quotes in your text somewhere they're gonna be replaced with spaces because of formatting issues uh, transferring the file from a, from a one format to the next Number five applies to anybody who's importing after uh, they've had um, entries in their logbook. Uh, please back up your logbook, export it to Excel or a CSV uh, before you continue. All right, moving on. Date format. Uh, it looks like it's uh, a month, day, and year. Okay, there it is, and there's a few other formats you can have here. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you have. If it's numbers, if you have, if you have, for example, the month of August as 08, or AUG or August, it doesn't matter as long as it's in the correct order that you choose. For me, it's going to be month, day, year. Okay. Delete my current logbook because I don't want the headers that I have in there in addition to all the headers that I have in uh, the logbook that I'm about to import. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, choose to delete my current logbook. Uh, once again, make sure if, if you do have entries in your logbook already, make sure you back up uh, just in case anything weird happens. Okay, now for the final step, I'm going to select the CSV file. So I'm going to click the Browse button. And there it is. Uh, double click on that file. Now I'm going to click import. This is warning me once again uh, to make sure that the file is in CSV format, that I've selected the correct date format. Otherwise, my dates are going to be all messed up. And that I've selected the correct option uh, to either keep my current logbook or delete my logbook. I think I did everything right, so I want to go ahead and click OK and see what happens. There we go, the file was imported successfully, and I want to check it out now, so let's go ahead and go to the logbook. And there it is. Let's go back to August uh, 2010. To make sure that all the entries are there. Notice that these flights are in yellow background. Why? Because they happened within the preceding 90 days. Okay, and you can select whatever color you want, and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. 
but if we back up and go to uh, the entire year 2010 you're gonna see some flights uh, that are in a, a, a dark green color there we go and these flights happen within the preceding six calendar months you change the color the background color of these flights by going to settings then go into logbook settings and here's where you can alter all of those